happy Friday. All right, a video which I love to do every now and again on my channel because it is, it's so helpful to you and it's helpful to me. It is like the Bible of my style life. These are my tips, my top tips on just making your clothes look good, making your outfits look good. I do these videos once in a while and I love to do them because it's a good reminder for me and it is for you as well. So it's not tips about, oh my God, these are the latest trends. It's about how to make what you've already got work and make it work so well and to not make mistakes when you do buy something. So I hope you love this video. These are, like I said, my absolute favorite things that I love to do. I do them every single time I get dressed in the morning or the afternoon, depending on what's going on that day. <laughs> but yeah, I've got them all written down on my phone, so I'm just gonna run through them. Excuse these trousers, which these jeans, which I think might not be pressed. In fact, they're not pressed. I just don't know if it's showing on camera. These are my men's apron pants jeans that I got from Paris. They're by the brand West. They are men's apron pants because it's got this flat front on it and I just love them. I've got them in denim already. So I'm making my apologies in advance if they look a bit creased. These are my tips on how to make your clothes look really, really good. And especially I'm gonna apply them for this fall. So the first one, and these are in no particular order. Where do I start? Add a non black boot this season. If you do one thing, do that. Pick we all have a black boot. I'm sure the majority of you watching this video has a black boot. There is gonna be, you know what, I'm gonna wait. There's gonna be that one person who's gonna write in the comments, but I don't have black boots. I'm talking about the vast majority. When you add in a boot, especially, that is not a color that everyone has and is therefore really expected. I understand it's a practicality. It's black, it goes with everything. It's functional because it rains, snows, it's cold wear them, it goes with everything, I get it. But from a fashion and a style point of view, because I'm sure if you've got a black boot, you've got another boot that's another color. Get it in a vibrant, statement -y. it doesn't have to be a statement, but in a, a lighter color, it is going to completely, you're gonna thank me about how much you'll be able to wear them. Let me show you my Sam Ed on my boots. For example, these Sam Ed boots, are the gift that keeps on giving. And you know how you have those pieces that are that? This, that's what these are. I got these about three years ago and I cannot stop pulling them out every single season. I love to wear these because they look so good with anything that I'm wearing that is a lighter color. For example, I would wear these boots with these pants because of that light kind of neutral cream caramel look. I think this really looks good together. My cargoes that I have, that's in that lighter color, the capers ones, the cream off-white ones, I would wear these boots with it. White jeans, I would wear these boots with it. So anytime a cream colored knits, whether it's cream or whether it's tan knits, camel coats, I know, sorry, it's a bit early for the camel to appear, but here we go. It's the season, right? Wear these boots. I'm telling you, it adds that monochromatic kind of vibe and it elongates your leg at the same time because you're wearing these, not with something contrasting that's dark, like a black or a navy, but you wear it with a similar color. And I'm telling you, it just works every time. This jacket, if you had this jacket on and you had, I was wearing these men's jeans and I'll just fling this on and it just, do you know what I mean? It, it looks like head to toe. Get yourself, honestly, get yourself a light colored boot. It just, it makes such an amazing statement. Change the silhouette of one piece you wear, exactly. What I mean is, if you're used to wearing, for example, oversized jackets, oversized blazers, oversized bomber jackets, oversized, 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 go the opposite and get something that is shrunken, the boxy cut, cropped version of it, and see what it does to your wardrobe. I have done that recently because I love wearing oversized blazers and I'll always wear them. They just have that space in my wardrobe. But there's times when I wear like something like this and I'll want to wear something that's cropped with it. So I don't want that oversized blazer because it's not the look I want to go for. So I've just gone with the opposite to that silhouette, which is something that's cropped, much more shrunken. Two examples, one that's printed and one that's plain. 
One that's printed is the Proenza Scuola Tiger print jacket that I recently picked up and it is cropped. I'll show you it right here from my Instagram reels. I styled it with a skirt. I love that, it's because the cut of it. So it sits really nicely on top of any of my high-waisted skirts, jeans and trousers, tailored trousers. It's perfect. Same with the one that I've got from Jacquemus. It's plain solid black. It has exactly the same function. It's also cropped. It's also a boxy cut. And it's it's boxy, so they're both boxy in the sense of being like the oversized blazers I love to wear. But both of them, because they're cropped, it's a lot more structured, the fit, right? And you can notice it and you see it. So it literally almost looks like a square with like arms attached. And I just love how that looks. Change that silhouette of the piece that you always wear and just go the opposite end of it. Size up a little bit if you have to, so it doesn't look really tight on you, but it's still going to have that cropped cut because that's the cut of the piece. I'm telling you, it's a game changer for updating your wardrobe. Same with like skirts. If there's like a skirt length that you always wear or a cut that you always wear, just try the opposite of it. If you always wear like shorter A-line skirts with like tights and stuff, again, I'm applying this really to fall. Just go with the opposite. Go with a long maxi, go with something like, like a full skirt. Again, that reel that I wore while I was wearing the uh, tiger print jacket, I wore it with this uh, Simone Rocha skirt that I picked up pre-loved. Both of those pieces were picked up from a secondhand uh, consignment designer shop. And I love the fact that that skirt is, it's very different to what I normally would wear in terms of a skirt. I just don't wear heavy, full skirts like that. But I loved it and I just made it myself with my boots. So that's what I'm talking about. Just go the opposite to what you would normally wear and just see what that looks like. Bomber jackets, chilling jackets, anything. You insert whatever it is that you tend to normally wear and think about the opposite shape to it and give it a try. <gasps> Hands down. Invest in one bright colored coat. Oh my God. Game changing. Again, we all have a black coat or the majority of us do branch out and invest in that one bright coat. I know when you go to the shops, you're gonna like just go, oh, that's nice, but I'm not gonna wear that. Where am I gonna wear that? Wear them, oh, no, 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 where am I gonna wear that? The bright ones, right? You skip past that and you go to the safe black section. You've already got black coats. Why are you buying another one? Unless it's something that's so badass that there's something about it that this had to get it. But if it's not, you've got black coats. We all have black coats. Notice I said plural. Get that one, bright coat, bright trench. It's going to look so killer in your wardrobe and you are gonna hold on to it because you picked it in a color that suits your skin tone. So that's another thing. Make sure you pick one that just flatters your particular skin tone. For me, warmer colors do. So I'll wear like an orange trench coat, like that leather one that I've got, I've had for like years now. I will go with like a green, for example. I got one from the Frankie shop last season and I'm definitely gonna wear that very, very soon this fall because again, it's a warm color spectrum for me. So that's why I love it so much. So that's for me. But I like the fact that when you wear something that's that bright, it's going to be the statement for you when you're wearing your outfit and just wear anything underneath it that is just much more simple and just wear complementary colors underneath it and that's it and just keep it really simple but make the focus about the coat if you want i would go with just to be safe in terms of the cut the cut of the coat pick something that's like a tailored structured coat so it's just very long and skims off your body that kind of cut i think it looks cool and effortless but it's in a bright color so if I can see some examples of that I'm gonna li link them below for you I'll link everything I mentioned in this video below for you but you know that's the kind of thing I'm thinking of really think about the cuts of the coat but get it in the bright color it's gonna be such a, a conversation piece and you're gonna stand out in a sea of black coats on the pavement when you're walking outside on the street but in a good way and I just think that looks so so flattering so consider it please another thing that i reckon you should definitely do is invest in your jewelry get pieces that are you and feel like you and that are timeless and will stand the test of time because i feel like jewelry pieces they are the finishing touch to your outfits mazoma for me is mine i have had mazoma jewelry four years is it really 
is this must be is it three or four flipping neck time is flying i'm partnering with mazoma for this part of the video but i wear mazoma regardless and they are 100 the my most worn jewelry i am actually going to let you in on the secret right now is that they are having a 30 percent off sale and there is a time attached to it. They rarely do sales, Mazoma, as you know. And this is the time of the year, I mean, it's Black Friday, right? And this is your chance. I've had my pieces for years and I still have them and they're as great today as they were back then. Um, these are just literally two pieces I'm wearing at the moment. This is one of the pieces that I have in this necklace. So dainty, it's so pretty, and it's just really simple. It's a nice gift idea actually, because it's one of those pieces I think would suit most people. And it is adjustable, so it can sit at a lower point of your neck if you want to. Um, but I like wear it on its shortest part, so that allows me space here to layer anything else that I want. I also have these earrings, which I think are just so gorgeous. They're so simple and so pretty. It's like a little hoop, but it's noticeable. And I do have statement pieces of jewelry from Mazoma. This piece is absolutely stunning. It's the Harris Reed Crescent Moon Pearl Necklace. Absolutely beautiful. And I've worn it already. Um, I went to um, an event with my Teresa and I was wearing um, a long blue dress and I just wore this necklace and I think some simple earrings because I just thought it was such a statement piece. It almost looks like something you found from vintage maybe or like a, an estate sale. 30% off and it's site wide. Um, I love their chubby hoops. I've talked about them ad nauseum on my channel. I have the chubby hoops I love to wear. I'll insert some footage so you can see whilst I'm talking so you can see what they look like. I also have the Lucy Williams Roman uh, Roman coin necklace. There's a reason why a lot of us have it. It's such an easy piece and it looks so good with anything you wear. Um, also their curb necklace chain, a flat necklace and it's very kind of 90s vibes that one. So it's really, really cool. So I, oh, these pieces I've collected over the years now. My latest pair of earrings from Mizoma are the Zenyu chandelier earrings and they are beautiful and the best part of them is these ones right here and this is what I'm going to wear if I'm going out, out for a date night or something like that or I'm going out somewhere special and I want an, e I want an earring something that's going to show and it's so nice I'll show you some close-ups as well beautiful and you know the best part of these earrings they're lightweight that's always the number one question I get asked or I think of when I have like an earring that looks like this anything that's like chandelier like is it heavy? Is it pulling my ear down? And it's not. It's super comfortable. I don't even feel like I have them on. And that's the best part of them. So you can wear them all day or all night. They're so nice. Oh, they're gorgeous. And I took off the other two Mazoma necklaces. So I'm just wearing one. So you can just see you can wear just a little hint of another necklace and just wear these earrings. They're beautiful. The way they show, oh, they're stunning. 30% off at the moment. So make sure you check the link in the description box for 30% off. I also like how Mizoma have partnered with Tree Sisters and this is their third year running, which is planting one tree for every order. So if you love all the pieces I'm wearing, then, you know, this is your day. You're in luck because Mizoma's Black Friday sale has, has started. So just go to the link in my description box, 30% off site wide and there is no code this time it's they're all about self-expression self-acceptance yeah it's just about them just being on a mission just to build a much more creative just confident collaborative world and you feel like you're part of a community um when you are wearing mazoma jewelry because you know you're you're part of that that manifesto and you're part of also tree sisters so you know that every time you wear a piece you are planting a tree as well because i want my followers to know about this discount um yeah before it's over so moving on to the pieces that i think are just really just tips for stylish way to like up your outfit especially for this time of the year one piece i'm going to say oh my god i say this all the time actually i've said this before but i have to say this again sunglasses they are your best friend they make any fall actually year round they make any, any outfit look good but during the fall i'm, I'm lucky because in new york you get cold days with sunshine so i need some i still need sunglasses if not i'll be like this and like oh, i can't see anything you know i love the transformative the transformative transformative <laughs> look that sunglasses will give you and i'm going to insert just here just some examples from my instagram of sunglasses i've worn and they just make the outfit they finish it 
and that's what sunglasses are they're finishes that's what i call them and i really think they're worth it you can get them at any price point i'm just going to show you just a couple of glasses right here um, i'm wearing like a an orangey red lipstick so these look perfect oh, these look so good you know about these already these need no introduction these days they you already know who these are i don't even need to explain same with these although these are a little bit newer so you might not know about these these are controversial you're either going to love them or hate them and i love them these i just think they're so cool they're so so cool i love these but again you've got to be that kind of person who doesn't mind wearing glasses like this but to me it takes this look into wearing something that looks like an outfit like an absolute statement and that's what these are. They're statement glasses and I love them. And I have them in a white as well because I've always liked white glasses because white to me is just like, it's a neutral as I've always said. I mean, I wouldn't wear these glasses with what I'm wearing because I just think they're just too cool toned right now. These are Amazon, by the way. So it's really just about finding glasses that work with your face shape and that's it. Just, just work with that and, and you're good. I love a good sunglass. They really make a difference to your outfit. Another thing that is an absolute must that really does, honestly, it just changes the look of your outfit into finishing it and to look really good, just like the sunglasses do, is getting an accent bag color. La, insert choir music here. La, <laughs> this is just one example, which is my mini Loewe puzzle, and it is an accent color on orange stunning i love this bag i'll again show you some pictures of me wearing this bag but it's the same reason it is a statement it stands out from any of my dark clothing it doesn't have to be dark clothing it's a beautiful pop it's such a good contrast i actually fit quite a lot in this bag surprisingly enough if you check on my tiktok i have a video of what fits inside this bag so definitely have a look if you're wondering for example another one that i have is the zebra clutch by bottega I cannot tell you how much I love this thing. It is by Daniel Lee, who's no longer with Bottega, and he came out with this one season and it was never repeated again, probably because people thought, no, I can't wear this. <laughs> but I wished I bought it at the time that it came out and I never did. And I'm so glad that I ended up caving and finding it consignment instead. So I found it pre-loved. Uh, actually, no, I didn't find it pre-loved. That's not it, that's not right. A friend of mine was selling hers. Oh, this is a good story. I reached out to her because I asked her, oh my God, I love your bag because I follow her on Instagram, she was wearing it. And she told me she wasn't thinking of keeping it. I was like, oh my God, if you're not gonna keep it, I'll buy it. So she let me buy it from her and this is it. And she loved it so much. <laughs> She got buy, she got seller's remorse and so she ended up buying it back. So she found it on Vestia Collective and bought it back. But there's more to this story, okay? That's not it. She has words, I have mine. I brought this with me to Paris and Milan Fashion Week. I'll show you me wearing it here. And I came back to New York and I couldn't find it, could I? I unpacked everything and I had a panic attack. I thought, oh, crap, did I leave it somewhere, like in a hotel room, in a paper bag? and not realize, you know what I mean? Like in the back of a rental car. I was just panicking because I, I could not find it. And I know that you can't find this clutch. It, it's gone. It's dead. Bottega doesn't make this clutch anymore. It's leather and it's just the most striking color. And believe it or not, it goes with, so I don't even wear it with this. It surprisingly is versatile and goes with a lot of your pieces. So I thought I'd lost it. So I told her, I saw my friend, I said, oh my God, I think I've lost the clutch that I bought from you. I can't find it. So she sent me a link. She found one like a few days later. It was on Vestia Collective. She goes, I found another one. So, you know, since you may, if you have lost the other one, here's your chance. I bought it, didn't I? It arrived two days later. This one turned up. It was in the back of my wardrobe, wasn't it? Actually, at the time of this video being made, I have two of these. One, which is the one that I actually ended up finding and the other one, which is what I panic bought from Vestia Collective because I thought I lost this one. But at the time of making this video, I'm gonna post on my Instagram stories that I'm selling it. I just want to get back what I paid for it on Vestia and it's still below retail and it's super rare. You cannot find this clutch anywhere. So that rhymed. But um, hopefully at the time of this video going up, it's already sold. But if it's not, follow me on Instagram send me a message and ask me if that bag is still available because if it is i will be mentioning it a few times on my stories 
Anyway, moving on. Oh my God, that was such a long-winded way of just saying about wearing like statement bags, but they just make a difference to your look. You can have like a long, cool coat on and then you just have that statement bag and it just looks badass. Your outfit is just completely finished in a good way, just like it is with statement glasses. <laughs> so I'm pointing at you. Okay, let me just speed on. I've said this before, but this is worth saying in this video. Wear clothes from the kids section. If you are petite enough and you can, look at the boys section in the older range for t-shirts, waistcoats, for example. Waistcoats are really cool. If you're flat chested and fairly small up here, I can sometimes get away with them. It really depends on the age range of the boys section. Sometimes they sell the most cute little three-piece suits or they'll just sell like a two-piece suit or something. They'll include a waist waistcoat as well. Waistcoat, waist vest, waistcoat vest. Waistcoat, I call them waistcoats. You saw waist vests in England, in America. What do you say in America? Do you call those vests? Waistcoats, waistcoat coat vests? I don't even know, comment below in America. What do you what do you call those? Anyway, I call them waistcoats. So if you want like one that's like smaller and it will fit you, check the boys section, older age for those because they'll be fitted on us and they look really, really cute. And you can just wear them like all by itself or just lay it underneath a shirt over a t-shirt you know what I mean that kind of stuff so check check them out also obviously men's section I don't even have to talk too much about that this is from the men's section these jeans and they're badass freaking love them half of my blazer wardrobe is from the men's section I have coats this gray coat that I love so much this is from the men's section I love the men's this I have too much I have so much stuff from the men's section but I just think that's where the badass crap is for women it just is it just hangs in a really cool way in fact you can tell me about men's clothing and how good it looks on women because i've talked about it i've preached about it forever also i want you to leave a comment below and let me know your favorite pieces or your best tips styling tips on what makes a full outfit look way better than and just stand out what is it vintage get something that is vintage it is going to do it for you i'm going to show you just examples of things i have here that are vintage they are the pieces that what make your wardrobe unique. It gives soul to your wardrobe, in my opinion. It gives that unique twist. It gives that unique angle that you can't find and anyone else doesn't have. Do you know what I mean? And you have it, and so it's unique to you. It shows your personality. It really is about self-expression, and it just makes your pieces different, but in a really good way. It's just, I cannot say enough about vintage, whether it's, from the lower end of thrifting or designer consignment vintage, either end, both ends, actually not even either. To me, it's not an either or. I have the ability to shop both ends and I do for vintage. I, I just, it's just, look at this. I'm sorry, I know, I'm gonna stop, I gotta stop. This vintage Hermes belt, I picked up a designer consignment shop. It does not go with this, but Karen, she just keeps going. It is amazing. It is a Collier de Chier belt, which means dog collar belt. And it's a style that they don't make any more Hermes. I went to the Hermes uh, presentation in September during Paris Fashion Week, and I got to see their new style wide belt. In fact, everything new for Hermes, including bags for 2023, I got to see before anyone else during Paris Fashion Week. And I felt so like, God, this is so cool. I get to see what's coming out. But I have TikTok, which is where I just literally just covered me going to the Reese of the runway show as well as seeing all the new bags, all the new jewelry, all the new clothing, just everything that's coming out. New bag designs you've never seen before. A new Kelly, which is in metallic gold. Baby Kelly, mini. Oh my gosh, it's just insane. But anyway, they don't have this though. Of all those beautiful things, they don't have this anymore. This is actually Epsom leather, gold hardware, it's stunning and i think the point i'm making is vintage that's it nothing more said please if you have a favorite vintage piece tell me what it is below and why is it it can't just stand alone by itself like it's just sitting there on the sh shelf how is it adding to your wardrobe and that's the most important thing is how it's adding to your wardrobe wearing your clothes backwards thank me later if you do this cardigans I love wearing cardigans back to front. It instantly gives that high neck look and you've got like it's V at the back. I love like that, it just looks so cool. There is a dress I got from Mazzoni. It is a V neck 
I don't wear it that way, I wear it the other way, so it's high neck, so we just have like this column of colour. I do this all the time, just wearing things back to front, it's such a, an easy hack, and I do it a lot when I have something that's like a open neckline that I particularly just don't like, I just wear it back to front and it just completely changes the vibe and makes it, to me, makes it wearable. Wear two or three colours max, I know I've said this one before but it's worth mentioning in the fall, because in the fall, going into winter, you're wearing most, mostly a coat slash jacket. And I find that if you want that coat to stand out, wear only one other colour with it and you are going to look like chef's kiss. I'll give a couple of examples here of either me or anyone else who practices that example of wearing either two colours or wearing three colours. And it just gives a sense of cohesiveness to your outfit and it also just adds a sense of it doesn't break up your eye too much. It lets each piece like shine and stand out from each other. So there you go. I think that is it. Are those all my pieces? Oh, one which is kind of trending, but I like it anyway, which is baggy trousers and baggy jeans. That is absolutely trending at the moment. I'm actually going to do a hack with a pair of oversized baggy jeans that I picked up. But a hack for you, it, which is to get a pair of baggy jeans, literally two, no, actually not even two, at least three sizes bigger than you. And obviously the waist is gonna be out here. All you gotta do is take it to the tailors and have them tailor it in and see the look that it's gonna give you. It looks so cool. And if you're wondering what that look is, buy them, or when you're in the changing room, put them on and just do that with the waist. Like just cinch it in. A lot of it's too big, right? It's too big. So just do that, get a belt and try it and see that kind of silhouette. It's so cool. This is what I call cool girl style. I want to add that into your full wardrobe. So these are the kind of things that I like to think of. And obviously, last but not least, hats for fall. Get yourself a hat. Get yourself a good hat. I have raised my brand on these flipping fedoras. I've worn them so much. They are fantastic. Get yourself a fedora. I have this one in black as well and I wear both of them equally. I mean, look, it would go exactly with what I'm wearing. I've got Uggs on. This is an outfit! Oh my God, this is an outfit. It so is. Oh Lord, look at that. I could just wear this. Oh, yes. Honey. Oh, it's backwards. It looked good like that anyway. But you know what I'm saying? Just, oh my God. Get yourself a good hat. It is just gonna complete a look. It's gonna look so bad. Oh my God, look at me feeling myself now because it looks so good. This is what I'm talking about. Wear something that feels good and something like this is just gonna like, it's like the finishing touch when you wear a hat. It really is. Wow, that looks so good. That looked really, really good, didn't it? Hats. Don't just go for beanies. Yes, beanies are great, but there is a place for a brimmed hat and there's a brimmed hat for everyone. There is, just go to the shops, try a few on and see what they look like. And also check out the men's ones as well. Cause if I'm not mistaken, this might be a, this was from the men's section. This is for, uh, the brand of this is City Hats. I got this on Houston Street in Manhattan, just east of Broadway. If you're in New York, write that down. If you're going to New York, write that place down and go check them out. Honestly, these are the things to try out. And do not forget, 30% off everything from Mazoma Black Friday sale. I believe actually the sale is until Monday. So this is your time. The point is, it's limited. It's gonna stop. There will be an end time to it, but let me know what you get. I love the Mazoma pieces. I think they're fantastic. And that is it. I will see you next time. Uh, see you on TikTok, see you on Instagram. Bye.